Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to add um, your own video into um, your ebooks. So um, this is how to add in videos you've made. Uh, so these are local video files such as your screen recordings which you should have compressed using Handbrake and if you haven't done that watch the video on how to do that right now. Okay, so here we go. I've got uh, a page. It's not very inspiring. Uh, I've got some text and I want to add a video to make it a whole lot better. I go to insert, media, video player. And this is really important. You really want to choose HTML5 MP4. Okay, if you choose Flash, then um, you have to make sure that the person who is viewing your website also has Flash which in a hundred years time is extraordinarily unlikely because it's a proprietary format that is fast falling out of fashion and I don't even think Flash will be around in 10 years, let alone a hundred. So let's choose HTML5, press OK and we get this option uh, box where you can start setting in the videos that you want to include. So add files, find your video. Now I happen to have um, a short video here that I've been using with my year seven classes. Um, it's a bit odd, uh, but it demonstrates green screening really well. So you just have to forgive me for that. So I press open and it adds it into uh, the list. And you could add more and you can build like a playlist, but you don't need to. One at a time is absolutely fine. Go to settings and you get a preview of what it's gonna look like. And by default, it will uh, make the player the same size as your clip, which is likely to be quite large. So you might want to change your uh, video size to 480 pixels um, high by 854 wide. Bearing in mind, you've only got 1024 wide to play with. Um, so you might want to go even smaller. Um, and you can choose different, we call skins, that's what it looks like when you sort of hover your mouse over. Um, it's up to you what you want. Minimalist seems fine to me. We can change some colors. So if you have a particular color scheme on your website, then you can change the color bars to look um, appropriate for your site. And you can also set some settings for the user, like can they go into full screen or not? Well, probably you want them to be able to. Um, can they pause it? Yeah, probably. Embedding's a bit odd. Embedding means if you sort of click this link, uh, this button up here, it gives you a link to embed that video in your own website. You might want to switch that off. Um, don't have to, it's up to you. Um, you almost certainly do not want autoplay on because it means the video will play as soon as someone goes to that uh, page in your ebook and that's really annoying. And I don't see why you'd want to start it muted either. So um, probably the default settings are fine. Press OK and it will give you um, an option to add it into your site. So you can just lay it in and we can put our text around and make it all line up nicely and move that into the middle and that's great. So let's check it actually works by clicking on preview. Click preview site and here we are, our video is loading and if I click on the play button Fantastic, it starts playing and yet there's that strange man, like I said, it was a bit odd. But the important point is, it's playing, it's working and it's a proper, um, if we go full screen, it plays. So that's how you can easily add video into